So similarly, in the Barzakh world, the believing souls run to, the, to this new soul that is just fresh, dead person, and they ask them about their brothers, their sisters, mothers, fathers, children, relatives. Hey yo, what's up everybody, welcome back to the channel, it's your boy Jesse Keegan and we are Fun and Jesse. So right about now we're going to do another reaction video, hope everybody out there is doing well, is doing fine and uh, be safe man, there is this coronavirus that is just spreading all over uh, the world and I hope uh, you guys are safe, you guys are doing fine. Just let me know in the comment section below if you're okay, if you're safe, just hit that notification bell, just make sure to subscribe and make sure to give us that thumbs up. Yeah, just let me know if you're fine, if you're okay and stuff like that. Yeah, so um, first of all, I want to thank everybody out there who's been subscribing to our channel. You guys are really amazing. Thank you so much for, you know, commenting and giving us um, reaction videos to do and stuff like that. You guys are super amazing. So right about now, we're going to do another reaction video. This one right here was suggested by a lot of people. So many people suggested that we should go react to when a new soul enters the grave. Yeah, so that's the title. So without any further ado, guys, let's get it. I love you Allah. And also there is a hadith of the Prophet which is in Bukhari and Muslim that now I would like to take you on that journey just for a little while to witness what is happening in the life of Al-Barzakh right now. As we are living now, things in the Barzakh that are occurring. Firstly, before I mention this hadith, the Prophet ﷺ told us that when a person dies, their soul goes to a place, a destination, that you and I cannot see or witness in the Barzakh world. The soul goes either to where the believing souls and good souls are gathered, or it goes to where the disbelieving souls and the filthy or the bad souls are gathered. And neither of the two, neither of the two meet each other. They're in bliss, they're in punishment. And when the believing soul goes to the believing place, the believing dead people, their souls run to it. Like a person who is traveling, going overseas, you know how everyone runs to you to ask you about family and friends that they have back at where you came from, right? How are they doing? How's their health? How's... So similarly, in the Barzakh world, the believing souls run to, the, to this new soul that is just fresh dead person and they ask them about their brothers, their sisters, mothers, fathers, children, relatives, friends who they have left behind. What are they asking them about? They are asking them about their faith. They are asking them about their deeds. How were they doing? Are they coming close to Allah? Are they gone astray? What's happening to them? So it means that they miss them. They miss them and they want the best for them. But they don't know what's happening to them. So this freshly dead person says to them what he knows about them. If he tells them good, they become happy. Because they know that if they die now, they're going to meet them. They're going to be with them. Especially, especially family. You know, parents and children, family, brothers and sisters. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, وَالَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَاتَّبَعَتْهُمْ وَاتَّبَعَتْهُمْ ذُرِّيَّتُهُمْ بِإِيمَانٍ أَلْحَقْنَا بِهِمْ ذُرِّيَّتَهُمْ وَمَا أَلَتْنَاهُمْ مِنْ عَمَلِهِمْ مِنْ شَيْءٍ And those who believe, truly, and they died, and their offspring believed with them, and they died, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will reunite them together, and will not take any of their rewards away. So, dead people who die, believers will follow their believing family. And that's the only concern of the souls of the dead people in the hereafter. As for the bad soul who goes to the bad destination, they also run asking. And if they tell them they're doing good, they actually get relieved. And if they're doing bad, they also get upset. Because they have seen what has happened. But if they go to the believing section, and they ask them, where is the soul? Or what did our relative do? Or our father or brother or whoever it is? And the freshly dead person says, he beat, he beat me. Sometimes you may say, he beat me and he died before me. They become very upset because they know that they didn't come to the believing soul's side. He went to the other side. So they have no idea. 
But these are examples of the things that are happening or will happen in the life of the Barzakh. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to save us from those punishments. Amin ya Rabbana alam. Wow, that's really informative right there when the soul enters when a new soul enters the grave. I mean, I never thought of it that way. I used to think that when you die probably the soul just goes up there and probably maybe just go straight to uh, to hell or probably judgment and whatnot. So I mean, this is something different. Uh of what I was thinking of or something like that. I mean, there's so many uh, speculations out there. There's so many uh, people having their own thoughts about how the soul, you know, goes out and stuff like that. Others say that it, it actually hovers around the sky probably or somewhere in the sky for almost like 40 days. I don't know what normally happens in between that time. Probably it's trying to uh, to come up with a decision whether or maybe that's when the judgment is happening something like that whether I should go back into a new body or maybe you should be taken to hell or something I mean there's, I don't know nobody knows but I guess the people who die know and uh, no one has come out and said that this is what normally happens when you die I, I, I wish there could be somebody who could just come and explain to us this is what normally happens when you die you go, you go to hell or you go to heaven straight up and someone should tell us how heaven looks like and uh, how heaven uh, actually and how um, hell looks like but it has been years and years we've never heard of any stories of of actually how hell looks like they, they are just like uh, they have been described in the Bible, in the Quran, how it probably looks like. In the Bible it talks about how you're going to burn uh, f like forever. In the Quran it talks about like you're going to burn when, whenever the, 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 the pain is gone. It kind of refreshes again and stuff like that. So there's so many things that are, are being projected towards this discussion over here. But I feel like I feel like there's so many things that we as human beings don't know. We need more explanation. We need more advice. We need to be told like, hey, this is what normally happens. But I believe that um, one of these fine days, the truth is going to come out. Most probably the truth is going to come out. Because I keep myself wondering like, so now when we die, the soul goes up. Is the soul coming back as a new body? Like, does the soul come back um, with a new body here on Earth? Like, the reincarnation, know what reincarnation is. And like, you come back on Earth and you have to fulfill your purpose. After fulfilling your purpose, that's when you can advance to another dimension or another, maybe fifth dimension, you get it. There are so many things. I keep on thinking for myself that for me, I think that probably when you die, your soul goes out there, and then uh, you, 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 you probably have to make decisions either to... But now it depends on how you lived your life on earth. If you are a truthful person, if you're probably a believer, you're going to go to another dimension. And if you lived up to your purpose, uh, and I don't mean purpose where you you are a bad person or maybe you're killing people or whatnot i mean if you're a good person you righteous type of person you're gonna ascend to a higher dimension now if you are probably not that good person probably you're going to be sent back here on earth until you find your purpose i mean that's how i i i, I see things and i stand to be corrected i mean i'm not i mean that's my own opinion i'm just i'm not saying like that's how things are but I, uh, according to my intuition, I, yeah, I feel like probably that's how things are, or something like that. But anyway, such a nice um, 
video over here if you feel like i react to this video in a better way just give me a thumbs up and don't forget to go down my comment section tell me exactly what you feel about my reaction what you feel about this video over here let me know what you think about uh this video like a new soul you know just let me know do we when you die do you actually get to have a new soul or you still maintain the same soul and the same soul moves from one body to another body because i understand according to physics energy don't die it moves from one place to another so just let me know in the comment section below what do you think and the most important thing is don't forget to subscribe to our channel the more you keep us subscribing the more give us the motivation to do a lot of videos and to give you a better better content and last but not the least we're gonna see you or rather i'm gonna see you in the next video and peace out